All right, folks. Okay, come on. Here it is. Cargo. Dude. For the first time ever, Black Ops 2 multiplayer is being podcasted right to, to the world. It's the first exhibition match. And as you see right off the bat, we are in Codcaster mode. And we are on board with Shane from Team Prophecy. And early on, Prophecy is going to break out left here. And it looks like the Europeans are going to make a move for this office building. And they're going to run right into some of the Americans. As we see Shane throwing a bouncing Betty in immediately. He's going to hit fire. He's got an LMG picking up a very nice shot on Optic Ray right there. So nice job by the Europeans drawing first blood. But the North Americans actually answer back pretty quickly here. And let's take a look here at our picture in picture mode. We can see that big timer for the North Americans is on a three kill streak here. So we'll swap over to him. He is packing the SIG 556. And he's got the millimeter wave scanner on that bad boy. And that MMS is a new attachment here in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. It actually will see through walls if anybody is standing stationary on the other side. So it is very much a rusher's tool. It is very able and capable of sneaking out and finding the campers who are oh so frustrating in Call of Duty. And we are still on board with Big Timer as the North Americans have taken the lead now, 14 to 11. Make that 12 as Quantum from the European squad takes out Merc. And it looks like the Europeans just had a flurry of kills. Let's swap over and check out Swanee of Team Prophecy, who's playing for the Europeans here. He has the Ballista Iron Sights. Now the Iron Sight attachment is a, a basic, basically you take the scope off of your sniper rifle on the Ballista, and he also has another attachment on that as well. He's got the Iron Sights to increase the hip fire accuracy. So it looks like he's gonna try and no scope some people here, but he's got the Cap 40 out, and the Cap 40 does some work right there, dual wielding him. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and call in a score streak. Called in two, actually. That is going to be the counter UAV, UAV combo. And it looks like the crowd is starting to get into this one now as they just checked out some of the gameplay on the other side. And it looks like Swanee picks up another kill with the Cap 40s. He goes down. And now Swanee's actually going to call in a lightning strike here. And as that lightning strike rains down, he does not manage to pick off any players. The Europeans now in the lead by five kills. Let's take a look here at the picture in picture. One more time, looks like Toby for the North American side, even though he is European, uh, is going to be taking some shots here with the Ballista. Now he has the scope on the Ballista sniper rifle. And it looks like Toby is going to get taken out there. Somebody on the other side is definitely blowing it up right now, and I want to find out who that is because the crowd is going absolutely nuts. So as we cycle through the players, it might have been Raiden there who uh, picked up a, quite a few. Looks like he got two kills there. And now Merc looks like he picked up a couple kills and the crowd goes nuts again. And he has the M8A1 and he has the target finder attachment on that. Now the target finder attachment is so valuable because it actually paints the enemy within your sights. As you see Merc getting some nice hit markers right there. And he also has the combat axe and the shock charge. So I think Merc is trying to go for that highlight reel as the Europeans are still in the lead by six. Now Merc picking up a kill right there with some hip fire. And it looks like he's going to be scoping in. He's going to go ahead and call in a UAV for his team. Let's see if the North Americans can take advantage of this. And we'll go ahead and listen in to the North American side and see how they're communicating. I have one shocked, I have one shocked up top. Come on, we're down three, boys. Let's go. Keep it up. Uh, it's coming to you. Uh, uh, one follow me. One follow me on the left side. The right behind me. Wow. Well. Oh, inside the top, bottom, up top. Bottom of the far right. He's, one, he's weak up top. Right. Oh, he's in the closet. Don't you see the closet? Nice, we're hey, still on to you. Come on, come on, come on. One shot, we're on the west side. He went back, uh, went back to go. And as we took that listen in right there, we heard the North Americans communicating so effectively. And now they find themselves still down by six. They were trying to claw back into it. As you heard Merck giving some nice call outs to his teammates, picking up a couple kills right there as we were viewing him. And it looks like Gunshi from the European side is on a tear right now with a six kill streak. He has the M8A1 assault rifle. And it looks like he has the classic reflex attachment on that. So the reflex sight, and he actually has two attachments. If you notice in the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see a uh, small circle there with a, a tiny arrow. That is actually the select fire attachment. 
So that means Gumshi can take that weapon and put it into automatic fire mode, or he can turn it into burst fire mode. And it looks like Gumshi picked up another huge kill there on Ray with attack 45. That's his secondary pistol. Spots another player from the North American side, picking up some nice shots right there, some nice hit markers. And it looks like the Europeans are increasing their lead here. As we take a look at the map, looks like Gumshi's going to run into maybe a couple more North American players right here. He's going to decide to back off a little bit. But one player is breaching that office building, so gumshi has got to be careful. Take some shots there. Nice shots on Big Timer. Spots another player from North America up top. 38 seconds left to go now. Still on board with Gunty. And it looks like people are applauding. Gunty gets a nice, huge shot right there on Merc. Very nice jumping hit fire shot on Merc. And it looks like the Europeans are now running away with this one. Up by 20 kills as Gunty goes huge with a double kill to go on about a 14 or 15 kill streak. And before it's all over, Gunshi's gonna get a little bit extra right there with that double kill. Make sure he puts in a certain amount of work. As we take a look at our scoreboard as the game is closing out, Gunshi on fire, 20 and 11. And as you can take a look there, 82 to 64 is going to be our final score with the Europeans taking round number one here on Cargo.